Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Eternal Grind with me, Keith Fitristero Watabayashi for New Mod Gaming. And today we got something a little bit different just because this is almost the first time I've played with this deck. I've only played like two or three games, but um, I remember seeing this deck come up on Eternal Warcry for one of the tournaments. It was played by someone named Werewolf, and it's just a sweet mono fire burn deck which is something everyone thinks about and if you've played other card games you know that going aggro with lots of burn spells is always a strategy so i'm curious to see uh, how good it is in eternal my initial instinct is to say it's not that great just because in eternal uh, units and attachments are so much better than spells um, and because the deck size uh is so large you really need to focus on value and um not running out of steam, and of course that's always a problem when you play burn decks, no matter what game. I think especially internal. That said, always a good idea to find other ways to win, other ways to attack your opponent, and just shooting people in the face is something not a lot of people are ready for in this game. So I'm hoping it works out. And the other thing I really like about this deck is the Strangers. Uh, I think Strangers are a really underused resource in Constructed Eternal. I think... Um, the fact that you can get lots of your fixing uh, while also have a while also having a relevant body, I think, is great. Um, and I really like the fact that these strangers not only are just you know basic units; they work really well with flash fire. And uh, make sure you hit your influence also for like groundbreaker. And so it's just a really clever uh, way to build a burn deck, I think, as opposed to trying to like generate lots of war cry and just play like a normal storm storm uh, stone scar deck or drop like. Uh, soul fire drakes or like big flyers just basically playing units to the ground quickly and then later in the game having that influence they give you finish your opponent off so i really want to try this deck so here we go uh i don't know the ins and outs of this deck i haven't this is uh, again um the least amount of practice i've had with the deck before making a video but why not give it a try um and i don't want to say that burn is easier to play than other decks and it's not going to matter as much because the strategy in this deck is so straightforward. I would argue that aggro decks are the hardest deck to play, is the, hard, is the hardest deck type to play well consistently. Um, just because you're so in danger of running out of steam, you really need to manage your aggression correctly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and keep this hand. Do, do, do. Going first with an Oni Ronin, that's kind of always what you want to do when you're playing aggro seems great because it is great oh so much for that that's all right though that's all right let's see what our opponent thinks of our stone scar stranger they don't think much they don't think much flame blast interesting now nah, we're just gonna swing I don't know why our opponent wouldn't block here, but you know we don't have a lot of ways to go. We don't have we have almost no ways to go over the top of uh, other units. So just attack, 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 and then go for the burn spells. Roland's favor, okay. So now this would be a great time to get a fourth power because Groundbreaker is so good, and we have a clear path. Eh, not quite, but we're gonna draw a card. All right, well that's fine. Not great, but not terrible. Four damage to the face is getting us one step closer. I'm a little concerned about our opponent having more Roland's favor or more armor gaining uh, effects, because that would really hurt our chances. Aww. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we just want to draw our uh, flash fire. You can see for five mana, we're going to burn our opponent for seven. Pretty great. Pretty great. Sword of Ikaria. Not a big fan of that. Alrighty. Let's see. How much is this doing? It's dealing four. I guess we'll play the Groundbreaker. Um, there's no real reason to hold it back as opposed to playing a flame blast to blow up the sword of Akaria. I'm going to assume our opponent's getting a tav rod. That would be my guess. 
Either that or Ricario, but that seems unlikely. Very, very unlikely. Okay, so our opponent has a torch. So harsh roll would suck here. But we can't we don't play around things with this deck. This is a very straightforward linear strategy. And if you get there, you get there. So it is Ikaria. Okay, that's fine. That's just fine. So that's pretty good. So what do we have? We have nine plus five. So at full value, we have 14. So I guess we just attack with both. Our opponent really might take this damage, uh, which is really good for us. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we will hit you for five. And we have the win right here. So depending what kind of relic weapon our opponent plays, uh, we should have enough burn. Ooh, almost. That was a very lucky hit for our opponent. That was what they hit with Ikaria. That might have been the only way they win this game. And they still might... Oh, no. Ooh. Well, that's really too bad for us. That's very unlucky. Um, because that not only did they hit the perfect relic weapon with their Ikaria, they also drew it right away. Salt. But what can we do? We came close. Yeah, that's too bad. Look at that. Seven armor and no damage from our uh, double damage guy. Oh, well. 0-1-1. Oh, Hey, at least we're going to get through this quest pretty quickly. Close, very close. Needed like one more burn spell. Maybe one more unit. I still though, it feels like we drew pretty good. Um, we're going first, so we will keep this hand. But there's only there's what eight one drops so we could mulligan aggressively for a one drop if we wanted to but um having uh katana and two mana and lots of plays i think is a good place to start i mean we're always going to want to we're always going to be behind in the mid to late game looking to finish our opponent off with burn so having lots of things to do uh to ensure that your burn is as good as it can be like flash fire uh is really good uh, seems good. This looks like we're playing against Chalice. I feel like Chalice is a good matchup for us because they can't gain life and Burn has traditionally been very good against Chalice. Yeah, it looks like Chalice. Let's see. Do I want to play this and go to five? I don't think so. Um, I think we're just going to do this. And we're going to try to get this uh, Groundbreaker to hit. Although, now we're a little more weak to Harsh Rule, if our opponent has that. It doesn't seem likely. That's an interesting use of that. I don't know why you wouldn't hold that, but I guess if you have no other plan... Okay, Groundbreaker, do your worst. These, uh... Yeah, looks like a harsh rule to me. What's the other thing they might have? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume a harsh rule. So I don't want to take two damage. Sure. Alrighty. We're drawing pretty live here. Uh, we have the mana we need. And uh, we have a lot of influence for our burn. So all we got to do is just not die. And uh, hopefully draw a couple of burn spells. Which is pretty much, I think, the strategy for this deck all the time. <laughs> our opponent must be flooded of some kind. Uh, harsh ruler, no. We just got to go in. I mean, this is a, this is lethal on board. 
And again, we're not, I mean, we're just one burn spell away, basically, from getting this done here. Yeah, no life gain for you, sir. We will just crash in and see where we end up here. Almost certainly it's going to block here, right? You're not going to. Well, I guess either way, you're taking at least five. So that's pretty good. And we got there. Get burned. One harsh rule, not enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am not kidding, sir. <laughs> no one suspects the Caleb's favor. Oh, we got a free uh, first one of the day. Yeah, I'm uh, playing a little... A little late today uh, in the morning. We uh, had a long night last night. Monday night standard. Whew. Went light. Went late. Uh, this is an interesting choice because we have a great hand. I mean, these are great cards that we all want. Um, we are going first, and we have a turn one play. But we have nothing else. That said, though, with a hand like this, we don't really have too many bad draws unless we draw like other expensive burn spells. But um, drawing any mana is good. Um, I mean, it's not hard to get to two. You know, we have a play next turn if we miss. We have a couple options if we hit. So I think this hand is keepable, even though it's only a one uh, one sigil hand. If our opponent straight up like torches this guy and then like I don't know torches him, then we're in bad shape or something like that. Like if our opponent has two early removal spells to deal with this, then that would be really bad. But otherwise, I think we're okay. Um, we're going to attack, and we're going to play you. This sort of gives the illusion to our opponent that maybe we're not just straight burn. Um, and also, if we get a third mana, we can go Stranger and Katana. But we didn't, but our hand's still pretty good. But yeah, drawing the second copy of Obliterate is pretty rough for us. Desert Marshal. That's not very nice. Hmm. Temple Scribe. That's not really a big deal. Um, yeah, let's put it on you. I do like a 6-3-1 drop. Seems decent. Although now we do need to draw a little more mana here. We're definitely not going to win the game with two mana. But all we have to do is get to five, and we should be in pretty good shape. But that might prove to be a little difficult. Still, though, if we can keep our opponent on the back foot long enough um, so that they take a lot of time with their offense, like we'll see a lot of cards. So I think we're going to be okay. And yeah, this is so bad for our opponent just playing this. Giving us those extra draws to get to five mana is so good. I mean, so good for us anyway. So now we are going to do this. I want to get the four damage in while I can and really need to dig deeper to find some mana. So this is sort of a worst case scenario, the way this draw played out, because we drew a lot. We drew multiple expensive uh, burn spells, uh, which is exactly what we did not want to do. But our opponent isn't doing much either. We're going to go ahead and swing in. I have no problem making that trade. Uh-oh. Well, it's time to start using the strangers to chump block. All we got to do is get the five, because we have plenty of burn, if we get there. There's no guarantee. I mean, uh, the fact that we're having such a hard time finding sigils is kind of a nightmare. But that helps, and it does two damage, so can't complain about that. And our opponent didn't do anything last turn. Okay, now I think we're going to be okay, because if we draw power, we can get him to bridge the gap. I mean, our opponent's drawing lots of cards, but we have all of our life, so I mean, I'm not that worried about it. Let's go ahead and do this. And we will say go. I mean, our opponent can draw all the cards they want. If they don't gain life or find like some way to do overwhelm or get through our... Um, like They're in bad shape. The other thing, too, is we can just take this 
and uh, swing next turn and get in two, and this will be five. And if we draw another torch, if they don't have another blocker, we're in pretty good shape. But that is not good for us. Oh, man. Well, this is too bad. Uh, we definitely almost got there. I mean, we're still not dead dead. But that, that last turn, we really need to hit because we really need to have a chance to get the five uh, next draw because we're going to have to jump block here and uh, we're going to be dead the following turn. So we need to draw... We If we had drawn a power last turn, we'd have a chance to top deck into this, but our opponent did not attack for some reason. So that's quite good for us. Now we have a very real chance to win. kind of wonder what our opponent uh, has in their hand. Why wouldn't you attack you know, anyway? I mean, they're not playing Primal, so they have no uh, uh, Islands choice. They might have, like, Protect? Yeah, it's time to chump. I think we will do this. Kind of confused on that one. I mean, it doesn't matter. Our our situation is the exact same. We have to draw mana. You know what I mean? Five, eight, nine, ten. We can actually chump block both of these next turn. Ugh. Uh, not quite. Sure. 5, 9, 12, 13. Sure. I'm going to assume our opponent, the best they might have is like a stand together. Which seems likely. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. We'll just torch myself. <laughs> yeah, that was too bad. Uh, we had a lot of play with our one uh, with our one sigil draw, and we were pretty much just a couple draws away from getting there. Um, you know... Uh, again, I haven't played this deck too much, so maybe I'm too aggressive with my uh, with my mulligans because that's two games I've lost now where I needed to get to five quicker than I did. So for the next few games, I guess we'll focus more on getting to five mana above anything else. Uh, you know, I guess it's a real possibility that it's more of a chance you're going to draw like early drops than you are your mana to get to turn five. Because the deck does only play 25 power, I think. With no way, with only Caleb's favor. So this hand on the draw is fine. It's got three instead of one, which, you know, is a big deal. Um, with things to do early. Again, though, we got so close that game. I mean, if, if, if one of those, we drew three five-cost spells, if one of those was anything else, like another power or a cheaper play, we would have been in pretty good shape because we got our opponent to two, essentially. We had the torch. So one extra unit to attack with, you know, one extra cheap burn spell. Um, wow, well, they're not going to get much out of that. <laughs> yeah, not much you can really do there, Vara. Uh, one, two, I guess we'll do this. I don't really, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll do this. It's two damage either way. It's just either two damage with an attacker if we get there, or two damage right, right to the face. Interesting. This is when you gain life, right? Guess we will do this, and then we'll just burn you. Oh, 
Is that not how that? Oh, because it's power surge. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Wheel. Make mistakes and learn. Ooh, that might come back to haunt me. In fact, almost certainly that will come back to haunt me. Any day now, Groundbreaker. Any day. Hmm. Let's do this. And let's do this. If we have to, we'll just chump block here. Assuming our opponent doesn't gain life, which seems unlikely in a life force deck. Ooh, torch is good. Um, what's the fast spell here? Vanish. Okay. Well, now we really want to draw that groundbreaker. And so our opponent's down to three cards, and they've used uh, three interaction spells. How how removal heavy could their draw be, right? Oh, that's not very nice. What do we got here? We do three with this? Yeah, it doesn't seem very good. Our opponent has like nothing. And I kind of do want to get these attacks in. I also want to be able to play this next turn for charge. Ugh, I'm actually going to do it. This time it's actually going to do something. So this is almost lethal if our opponent doesn't have anything and we draw uh, power. But we did not draw power, unfortunately. Still, our opponents had a pretty flooded draw, it looks like, and their interaction spells just didn't do much to us. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yay, two and two. Finally. 100 damage. This deck is fun. It's definitely a far cry from the... Uh, grindy, controlly mid-range decks I've been doing videos with, so <laughs> just a little change of pace is nice. Going forward with this deck, uh, I think I might work on it a little bit more, but I might cut down the Stranger Emphasis. It's cool and I like it, but there's, you probably don't need to do it the way as deep as, as it is in this deck. You could probably get away with like eight strangers and maybe something a little more aggressive that is charge, maybe like a uh, Sansari Brigand. Something to do on turn three. Going first, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Early plays, card draw, three, uh, three power cards, try to get to our flash fire. Seems good. Ruthless Stranger. This dude's ready to go. Our opponent is apparently not ready to go. Let's say hello. Okay, then. There we are. Um, we will go ahead and attack. So the next turn... We could go like Torch Katana. So we can, we can get in for uh, seven, hopefully. All right, do we have another Chalice deck? Not entirely opposed to playing against Chalice again. Don't mind drawing that either. Alright, alright, we're, we're doing something. We're doing stuff. Yeah, that's too bad. We have to torch that guy. So you don't get the block. 
Make sure you play the torch in response because otherwise you get to block here and then when I play the torch I don't get the four damage. So you want to make sure you kill it before they get a chance to block. I mean four damage is a big deal, so Okay, now we're doing something this game. So this is lethal next turn if our opponent doesn't have anything. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, we have what? Six, we have 13 damage next turn. One, two, three. Yeah, it looks like, looks like we're good. They block here, they take three. Oh, nope, we're a little bit short. Uh, so let's just go ahead and I guess we could just hit them for four and put them to seven. Yeah, that's probably better. There's always a chance our opponent blocks the Oni Ronin because they think they're going to, like, you know... <laughs> Uh, not die next turn. How much do we have? Six. Maybe we could kill him and hit for three. So you go to six, and then we have four here. That doesn't seem very good. We will just do this. Try the same thing as last turn. If our opponent keeps playing Lumen Defenders, that's going to be very annoying. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything, and you cannot play Island's Choice. I knew you'd do well. Sweet. Just burning our way through. <laughs> Man, Flame Blast is so much worse after the nerf. I mean, there aren't many big burn spells in Fire outside of what Obliterate and Flash Fire. So I think you kind of have to play with Flame Burst or Flame Blast. It's like a necessary evil. I think there's only two in the deck. But, uh, whoo, it's weak. Uh, on the draw, this hand is not good. We don't want to start with five power. We want to get the five, but we don't want to start with five. Even on the play, that hand's not good. This hand is much better only because it has one less power and draws cards. That's actually a significant upgrade from the last hand. Even though we don't have a uh, groundbreaker, and this hand is pretty weak. Uh-oh. Fighting against Sky Craig. My favorite aggro deck has turned against me. Although I don't, Sky Craig's not good right now. Aggro in general is not very good in the meta. In the meta, I mean, like unit aggro. There's so many big things, so many control. Uh, the player base is just getting better, so it's less likely you can kind of cheese people out by just attacking. But this deck, you know, the fact that it has all the burn as a different way to get there, I think it's pretty cool. So this deck might be the better aggro deck right now than something like Sky Craig. How are we going to win this game? I guess we'll attack. I'm happy to trade. And then we'll just... Uh, we're going to have to race. Which, depending on how much burn we draw, will favor us. Uh, it it, it kind of does come down to torches, though. Oh my god. That's, that's really good for our opponent and not good for us. You must have heard me talking crap about uh, Sky Craig, and now they're coming for me. Well, now we cannot race. Now we have to hang back. Because this is lethal on board if we don't have any good blockers. Um, no, you know what? We'll just take six. Or seven, rather. Dead to a torch, but we're dead to a torch anyway. Also dead to that. Oops. There we go. Three and three.
Well, if you want to see a lot of opponents in a short amount of time, play this deck <laughs> for better or worse. That game came down to what most aggro mirrors come down to, which is who went first and who had the torch. I mean, if we go first and we have a torch, our opponent's offense is totally blunted and we get to dictate um, the pace of play. But because our opponent went first and they had the torch, they dictated the pace of play, which is always where you want to be in the aggro mirror and kind of where you want to be in aggro deck in general. Going first, this hand is terrible. This hand is not terrible. What you got there, one gear? Have we met? You probably have. I mean, how many players could there be of Eternal, right? Oni Ronin. Great one drop. Very elegantly designed card. We're going to get in while we can. Oh, no torch. And then next turn, we'll just start playing Strangers, I guess. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, what are the odds of us drawing something to deal with that? What's the turn three play here for our opponent? Probably another Temple Scribe. Um, possibly a Dawn Walker. Uh so there's probably no chance of this guy getting through. I guess if I draw a torch um, and our opponent doesn't play anything, but that seems highly unlikely, so I might as well get the war cry and trade while I can. Because war cry is very important if you can get it, so we'll do that. Seek power. Okay, well now I'm going to be really sad if I draw... That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Our opponent did nothing and we drew Torch. I still think it was the right play, but it's kind of funny. Exactly what needed to happen for this guy to hit for four happened. Yeah, that's okay, though. I don't mind having the Torch for the Sandstorm Titan. So this is, you know, not terrible. Like, now... Uh, we just want to draw burn. I think, let's see, turn five, we could see another Titan. Um, we could also see, what, Shatter Glass Mage, seems unlikely. Um, probably get Hearts of the Vault pretty soon. So we're going to just have to burn our opponent out. I mean, we're probably never going to get to really attack through anything. So we could torch this, our opponent will play something else, and then next turn we hit for three. That's if they play one unit. They can also play two units. And then we'll never hit again. Because uh, we're pretty much out of gas on terms of our unit's effectiveness. Now we need to just draw burn spell. So I think we'll keep the torch. We're at 25. Uh, we're in no danger of dying anytime soon. So we will have time to draw our burn spells. It's just a matter of if we do. So let's go ahead and hit you in the face. Okay, that's not real good. This is the this is a bad time to get flooded. Uh oh. Oh, we're dead. Ah, oh, almost one turn too late. Or just one burn spell short. Yeah, a little too much flood, not enough burn. But uh, that was a good game. I'm happy I'm happy with the decisions I made. I mean, it, it, as it turned out, uh, we absolutely could have got through with our Oni Ronin, which would have been four damage there instead of the three torts to the face. So our opponent would have been at two but we would have had one extra unit to attack with on this turn with the Sandstorm Titan, so we actually would have had exactly lethal because if we attack with all three of those units, we have the Ruthless Stranger and then our two other Strangers, and we still have the Oni Ronin, so we get through... Well, they, he probably blocks the Oni Ronin, so we get through another uh, two damage. 
And uh, with that, we would have got there. But again, all that is dependent upon us drawing exactly Torch and our opponent playing exactly nothing. And I think we had a better chance of winning otherwise. Because again, if one of those two last sigils we drew... Um, eh, this hand's pretty slow for going first. Yeah, we're going to mulligan aggressively for a one drop here. I want to take advantage of going first. Um, then we would have won that game. Uh, anyway, I mean, we got our opponent to three, so we're short, you know, one burn spell. Uh, so I think the way we played it was fine. But as it turned out, if we had done it the greedy way, uh, we would have won. Kind of funny. Aw, it's like the best card against us. Probably just because Vara's Favor is arguably the best card in the game. What do we need? We just need burn spells now. I feel like I say that a lot with this deck. <laughs> but that is the win condition, so, you know. Uh, I will take it. Take five. What do we not want to see here? That's pretty bad. That's very bad. Yeah, where's our groundbreaker? That would have been really good last turn. Yeah, sure. My opponent has a finest hour, I guess. We've done a lot of damage to our opponent. Like if you add a, for they're only at ten if they don't gain the four life. I like when our I like seeing opponents use slay on strangers. I find that very funny, because it is funny. Now they're getting in range of flash fire, which is exactly where we want them. Feeling pretty good here. You got it. Vanquish away. Yeah, use that sleigh. No problem. This seems good. Feel the burn, dog. Feel the burn. Well, that was a good draw for our opponent. Oh. Ooh, don't tell me it's a protect. That would not make me happy. Ah, oh, ouch. Still just want burn spells. I don't really care about Tavrod. I mean, we're not going to block him. Ooh, that's pretty unbeatable. Wow, we just got wrecked. What a top deck. Of course, we are also playing a top deck strategy, so can't be too mad about that. Yeah, we are not going to win. I don't think we can beat that. Maybe. I mean, if we draw, like, double flash fire... Like, if we go flash fire into flash fire and our opponent gains no more life, then maybe? Yeah, no, not so much. Whew. Crushed. Uh, I don't know. On the draw, I guess we'll try it. Um, you know, it's got it's got early game with 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 our finisher. So let's see if we get there. Stranger's not bad. Aw. Well, that's not very nice. 
Uh, no, nah, we'll do this. This way, at least if they have a sort of a Karya. I don't mind trading this two for two. And we'll save the torch for something else. And then on our turn, we can go Caleb's favor, Oni Ronin. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, that's not a big deal. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Might get hit with the harsh rule here, but again, we don't win by not playing these units. We have to play them now. We have to force our opponent to have it. If they have it, they have it. Slay is fine. More than five. I love seeing these slays get used on strangers. It's just very, very amusing. Well, I think we're in good shape this game. Um, of course, I've said that several times before this video and gotten wrecked. But we have uh, four mana, and we have uh, three five-cost burn spells, and our opponent is not getting to not getting to five mana. So I think we're going to get there this time. Slowly but surely. This is where the deck needs help. Is in the mid game, turns three and four are where the deck really struggles and where the deck can really fall behind because on those turns, that's when your opponent can make a big life swing, you know, or do something like play a rune hammer, uh, you know, or a, um, Lumen defender. Um, well, depending on who went first, I guess, Lumen defender or like healers. We are just going to do this and we're just going to do this. I think we're okay here. They're going to need a lot of answers to get through both of these. I like that harsh rule to kill one Oni Ronin. You do what you got to do, man. It's not going to matter, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 21 points of burn in my hand. I like it. That's just what we want to be doing with a burn deck. Well, let's see if we can get to a 50% record. I'm happy with that with a burn deck on ladder in an unknown meta. All righty. Let's see what we can do here. I think uh, Flame Blast needs to come out of this deck. I think there's probably almost anything better than that. Even like Flail might be better. Just because if your opponent's got a bad draw or it's all you have left, you can maybe hit with it twice instead of once. Man, Flail used to be so good. I remember those days. Well, I remember what happened last time I tried to make one of these hands work, so we're not going to do it. Oh, that one was a little bit better because it did have a Caleb's favor. This hand is significantly worse. Well, kind of. It depends. It's just it, it's significantly slower, but it's a better hand. What is that? Are we going to get out janked here? Oh, man, we might. What a way to go out. Losing the Cloud Snake Hatchling. He's not going to play a saddle, is he? Oh my god. Am I going to get punished by the Cloud Snake saddle? Oh my god, I am. <laughs> Turn 2, 4, 5, Flyer. Seems good. Seems good. Dude, we are bamboozled. This is like the worst game of draft I've ever played. Sure, we're going to get rid of that. Oh, man. So our opponent clearly doesn't have a lot of units because you'd think they'd save the saddle for anything else. Oh, this thing's got in for quite a lot of damage. Let's 
Let's see what you got. If our opponent has like a finest hour, I'd rather they use it to uh, trade rather than um, protect their 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 snake. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough race. Oh my god, what is this jank? We are seriously getting out janked here. Uh, hmm. Oh my god, this is like lethal, isn't it? Four, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god. So I have to use this? Uh, I don't remember if I played a mana this turn. I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Oops. Probably doesn't matter anyway, though. Let's say we kill him, we take five, we go to five. What's the combo, sir? Doesn't seem to be much of one. Oh, my God. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna do the moral victory here. I mean, we'd be dead to that thing anyway. So, well, let that be a lesson. Always torch the turn one cloud snake hatchling. Oh my god, dude! I can't believe that was quite the deck to finish on. But hey, why not? Something a little different. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, overall, you know, I will say the deck was a lot of fun. Uh, it may not have looked like it, but being able to play weird spells and weird play patterns and uh, just dropping strangers and watching my opponent use their premium removal on strangers was pretty satisfying. Not going to lie. And each one of those four wins felt pretty good. So I recommend this deck if you just want to chill out and play some fun games and kind of have, you know, a more casual experience uh, on the ladder. This game was very fun. It, uh, this deck was very fun to play for that. I had a good time playing it this video. Um, interesting, this deck was top eight of a tournament. Uh, the meta must have been very favorable, and the sideboard probably played a, um, um, a big part of that. But if, going forward, if I was going to keep messing with this kind of deck, I would definitely take out the Flame Blast. And I would um, certainly cut down on the strangers. I mean, this is 14 strangers. That's just way too many. Um, what? What? Uh, let's let's think about this for a second. What could you put in that might be better? Um, Cubs not bad. Uh, you know, this is really good against Rune Hammer, and it's another one drop that could be a two for one uh, with the damage. Um, Light the Fuse is also not terrible, uh, just to help with control decks or just to give you that extra out. Not great, but not terrible. Granding Drones, always uh, always nice, just because you get two units for one. I could see that instead of one of the Strangers. Um, don't really like Pyro Knight anymore. Definitely don't like On the Hunt, Pummel. It's not really any of those decks. Uh, Grenadine, taking Grenadine's not a bad idea. Uh, in fact, maybe this should be in the deck. I mean, it's it's you know a torch to the face uh, at a minimum, and it's good against things like board sweeps, uh, you know, relic weapons. Um, so maybe the ticking grenadine could be in there. Like I could see. Let's see. Let's say we put those in. Uh, I wouldn't do this. Uh, nah, probably wouldn't do any of these. See, I almost like flail over flame belt, flame blast, but not by much. Um, piercing shots not terrible. Uh, rampage isn't bad. This is pretty weak though in terms of trying to finish the game. And you know the the key amount of damage to get rid of units is three. Uh, so none of those. Like I could see this being good. Uh, no, not so much Yeti. It's kind of slow. Even though having something to do on turn three is good, but uh, and so is the warp. And so is the warp thing. But having a unit not attack until turn four is a little late for this deck. So I'm not a big fan of that. Um, grenade's not bad. Uh, maybe instead of Flame Blast. Let's see. No, no. Hip Shot's not good. I don't like any of these. A burnout's not bad either, actually. Uh, something to do in the mid game. I mean, it is four for five if you have a unit, which you probably will. 
Uh, so that's a possibility. Well, none of these really. Illuminator's kind of tempting, but again, a little too slow. Uh, Gunsmith, Raid Leader could be a possibility, but again, this deck isn't really trying to get there with um, with unit attacking. Infernus could be interesting uh, as another kind of burn type effect. Let's see. I don't think anything more than that we want to play. Like I don't think we're going to play anything that costs this much. So going forward, I do like the ticking grenadine though. Um, I do like uh, brigand grenade. Nah, eh, maybe not. Infernus is an interesting idea. Infernus though is really only good on the first turn. So. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather draw Flash Fire at that point or Obliterate. So I don't think we're really in the market for Infernus. But I could see doing like this and maybe this. And I mean, it's cute. You have all these different strangers, but does it really does it really matter? I mean, probably just whatever. If you want to keep it equal, do something like this. And then maybe, let's see, 369 strangers. I don't really want to go down less than that. Maybe take out a Flame Blast. Something like this might be a little better. Um, yeah, I could see this. I could see where you have a little more versatility in um, your attacks since the Brigand opens up, um, you know, four damage out of nowhere possibilities. Um, anything double damage is great in a burn deck. Taking Grenadine just being another early play that... Um, is, you know, good to removal and kind of has that burn on the way out. So there could be something there. Maybe you don't want four of it, but I feel like if you're going to play it, you play four of it. Um, I mean, those games where we were real close, having that extra three damage would have been a big deal. Four damage, even if you get to attack with it. So it's not bad. Maybe something like this going forward. Um, but overall, deck was a lot of fun. Oh, let's uh, click done. And let's open our swag and see where we're at. Ooh, Towering Stranger. Good limited card. Let's get rid of that dust. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, another great video. Uh, it was fun to make it for me. Hope you enjoyed watching us uh, tear it up and burn it up with Mono Fire. Uh, please put any comments or criticisms you have down below. I love engaging with people over these videos. And uh, be sure to check out newmotgaming.com for all your eternal Magic the Gathering and some Hearthstone content. And be sure to follow me uh, at Keith Waterbyosh at Twitter to see when I'm posting new content and just to get my overall thoughts on gaming as I kind of go through things. Um, I'll be playing in a PPTQ this Saturday, so uh, I might be doing a write-up for Newmont after that, if you're into magic. Uh, anyway, thanks everyone, and I will see you next time.